Welcome to Mez Tops TV. Today I'm going to show you how to apply on student loan relief of student loan forgiveness that President Biden just announced. So to get started, um, you have to come in your uh, Google and then you type in studentaid.gov. After typing, we take you to a welcome page where it say apply for federal student loan debt relief and uh, you will click on apply. After click on that, um, it will show you the eligibility and the requirement to be eligible to apply on this relief. So uh, you can be eligible for 20,000 if you took a federal pair grant, or you can be eligible for 10,000 if you're non uh, pair grant recipient. So the other qualifications are that if you are if you fire your tax as an individual and you've made less than 125k in 2021 or in 2020 you are eligible and then also if you fired your tax as a family and you're a family member and then combine it in your family you made less than uh, uh 250k in 2021 or 2020 and then you are eligible as well for this uh student relief so to start you come down here um you type in your first name your last name and uh, if you ever changed your last name you have to put in the one the former last name you had and also in mirror initial here is uh, an optional if you have it you have to put it in but if you don't have it don't then don't put it in down and then you type in your social security number and you confirm it you put in your date of birth phone number and email address and you have to confirm your email address after you finish putting all those information um you come down here where you confirm your first name and the last name and middle initial if you have one. And then you check this uh, box saying, I certify under penalty of perjury under the laws of the United States of America that all the information provided on this form is true and correct. After I finish that, you click submit and then that's it. You have all you need. So now let's go ahead get started uh show you how to do it and then uh, um uh, go from there so and then i have to type in my name first um uh, and then uh, uh, put a middle initial if i have one and type in the last name um and then uh, if i have former last name i type in but if i don't have it then this is optional and put in my social security number and then confirm my social as well um, after i finish that um, i put in my data path um, And then after putting my data of birth, I will type in my phone number. And then put in my email address. I can uh, then confirm my email. So after I confirmed my email address, um, I'll go ahead down here, um, type in my, my, my last name again, and uh, my, my first name, I mean first, and then I type in my last name. Um, after that, I will certify that the information that I put it in is true and good to go. And then I'll click submit. So uh, the information that I put here, like uh, as you can see, social security are not matching because this is made up information just to show you 
uh, the process but if it was uh, uh, correct information this was supposed to go through and then receive the confirmation saying that uh, I have been submitted all my information and then not there's no other action required from me uh, so if you finish your submitting everything there's no any further action is required for you you will receive email notification as well and then in the email notification we be telling you that nothing else needed from you and then you just waiting your uh, your debt relief to be seen on your account so this is all the information that i had for you you guys and how you can go ahead and uh, apply for this as soon as you can it's too easy not gonna take you more than five minutes overall and uh, if you have any question or concern go down the comment uh, section and then you put in your comment or you ask your question we are here for you should be able to answer any question you have and then also don't forget to click uh, share like and subscribe for our channel uh, thanks appreciate for your time